Now we're going to show you the basic button function by creating a byte point test project. So the basic idea is by clicking this button, and we will jump into a picture, and wherever we tap on the screen, it will show us another picture to confirm the touch function is effective. And after a serious test, it will show us this image. You can choose to test again or go back to the main page. So let's do it. First, we click on the button and drag to select the area. We can set the button's position by adjusting the coordinate and size. Button effect means when we tap the buttons, there will be a visual effect that shows the button has been clicked. So we want the area would be look like in the picture 39 when we click it. So we select picture 39 here. The page switch define which page we like to jump to. So we will select picture 41 here. The key value should be stay at zero, where we just want to use it as interface jump function. And then we will go to the page 41. Use the button function to cover the whole area. Set the page switch to page 42. Then we can just simply copy the button and paste. Select the page number and again and again and again. After we reach the final page, we can select the button test bad point again and make it goes back to page 41. And button home to go back to page 38. After all buttons were set, we need to make sure that the communication between your MCU unit and the LCD screen is normal. So we need to set the screen parameter. The very important parameter here is series, serial border rate and also serial port frame high byte or low byte. The default value is A5 or 5A. After all set is down, we can save the project and click generate the configuration file and download it or use effect preview function to check the project.